Now, PCF uh, dropped the Thursday news, obviously yesterday, today is Friday. I mean, there's nothing special about it. Uh, the patch is being delayed yet again. Coming up to our third or fourth week, waiting for the latest patch. I mean, things just ain't getting any better. It's why I haven't rushed to uh, cover this news at all. But we'll go quickly through what they mention in the latest uh, Thursday news update. Because it's something I've done from day one. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So yes, there's clearly no patch this week, otherwise you would have had it by now. But they do drop a little bit of news regarding the game, so let's get into it from their Reddit post. General news. We are unfortunately in a similar position to last week, whereby our latest patch content is pretty much complete, but it's still being held up by a submissions process. I would like to take the opportunity that uh, this delay uh, presents to talk a bit more about Outriders in general. Quite often we see players asking what's the point, and why are you running Outriders in such a live service way? Also usually in combination with a really spicy hot take along the lines of dead game. When each patch or change is viewed at in isolation, it is somewhat understandable where these feelings come from. However, everything we have been doing and will do in future will contribute to its own way to creating the Outriders experience they have all been asking for. All the patch and rebalancing work that we have undertaken to date are part of a much bigger plan and end goal, an end goal that does very much include Stadia as well. Everything we are currently doing and have done in the past is essentially laying the foundations of what is still to come for our riders. While also letting you be a part of this journey, this is also why it is so important for us to get these patches right and also bring the players the meta and the overall state of the game into the best place it possibly can be before we introduce what's next. Now this to me, I mean reading through this for the first time, I mean I didn't read through earlier, I just knew there wasn't the patch, but reading through this for the first time it screams at me that new content is coming. I mean they're basically telling us what we want to hear, which in my opinion is all they have left to tell us to keep us even semi-hyped about the game. I mean we all knew from day one this wasn't going to be a live service game, even though they're treating it like a live service game, with the constant patches and updates and even changes somewhat. In my opinion, it definitely would have been better off as a live service game, but it is what it is and it isn't one. Now they say it themselves and it's quite clear they've got to have seen it all over social media, Reddit, Facebook, you name it. Everyone's saying that Riders is a dead game. The thing is, it's still got many people excited. It's still got many people waiting for that new bit of content. I'm just hoping with all these delays on these patches, all these teases they've been dropping, that that new content, when it does finally arrive, whenever that time will be, it is good new content. It adds proper, more exciting and with more of a longevity of an end game to keep people playing for longer. That's what the game really suffers from. And no doubt if they wouldn't have spent most of their time and their resources fixing the game, dropping these patches, we probably would have at least heard of or seen a little bit of the new content that's supposedly coming. But we will see guys, we will see. They do go into a topic for discussion, a deep dive look into the Morning Winds mod. But from quickly reading it, they just talk about the background to the mod. They don't talk about any changes planned for the mod. Not at least until the game's in a proper working state anyway. So if Morning Winds mod is something you rely on and you still play the game, I wouldn't worry much for now. But if you do want to pause the video and read everything they mention on the Morning Winds mod, you can be my guest. But yeah guys, that is what we have for the Dev News Thursday, even though I'm dropping it on a Friday. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.